At LAX, passengers Jonathan and Matt have arrived too late for their Oakland flight. All right, what are we going next? All right, well, we're going to go ahead and put you on the standby list because the next flight is full so for the four o'clock. You guys checked in way early. Well, were you? Yeah, we're sitting at the we've bar. We've been sitting at the bar? Waiting. Waiting, waiting. waiting to hear something. <laughs> Your pass? Yes. Okay, this is gonna happen, guys. All right. If you're afraid to be under the influence of alcohol, we can't let you fly. Oh, By you the way, be me. we'll no. cancel our flight and get on another one if you, if you feel that way. No, it's Seriously. policy that we have that we have to enforce. Seriously. So, it's, so there's it's a problem. not even an issue. You've really got to be kidding at this point. No. We have one margarita. We're sitting here waiting for a flight for an hour. You, the I understand that, but if you think that we're drunk, that's ridiculous. Okay, wow. I, I'm just telling you that, and I don't mean to be abrasive, but if you're really gonna... Well, I mean, when you, when you came up, I mean, I don't know how much it. you've had you to know, drink. I don't, I don't care what you say right now. Just make it happen. Let's okay. get on a flight. We're cool. We're kind of flying Southwest out of default, here for a funeral of a friend, and... Why are you doing this? You can bring a breathalyzer. Are you kidding me? You're gonna no. cancel our flight? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. Where are you from? Where that are you from? Matter. That doesn't matter. No, it does matter, because I'm going to beat the out of you when I get a chance. Okay. Right now, let's go. Because you're a punk. What? You were a So punk. what do we need to do? You're a stupid well, little punk. We'll do whatever we want to do. Well, what can we do to, to well, displace I'm gonna, that? I'm going to go ahead and have to pass you a fly. You know what? Oh, I'd love to beat the yeah. out of you, you little yeah. I bet you're a little guy on the bus that got beat up all the time, didn't you? You're a Gross little pig, aren't Daddy, you? it's okay. It's just... You're a little pig. Enough is enough. Steve alerts now? security. Hey, macho guy. Yeah. Talk to uh, the camera. Yeah. He's working out, actually, so... Let me, let, I'll call you on the radio. Okay, bye. Well, he got very aggressive. He started calling me names and, you know, telling me that I was the guy on the bus, that I was got his ass kicked, and... You know, at the point, it was funny, but uh, I was a little concerned, too, because it did seem like he really wanted to jump with the, the counter and you know, do whatever he wanted to do. Go ahead and give a refund to the ticket. I'd appreciate Technically, that. Um, we can let you fly it up to eight hours from when this happens, so we have a flight Believe late me, tonight. Believe me, alcohol isn't an issue. We're just going to go get a another flight. That guy, I hope he loses his job. The only other flight take out all down. It's only Southwest that flies to Oakland, which is where your car is. Fine, leave it there. I know, so I said we won't fly, fly Southwest, but ultimately there's an 820 with United. Southwest has banned us and we've banned them as well, so that's a very mutual thing. <laughs> and the only other person well, that flies to Oakland works, where we left though. the car is United, and that's an 820 flight. I'm, I'm really hoping that we fly home tonight. Um, got a woman that I'm waiting for that I was supposed to come home yesterday and extended another day, but I... I'm worried that we might not even fly out till tomorrow. Let's get the flipping <laughs> presidential palace at the flipping whatever. At the Lowe's. Let's do it. <laughs> it's on. Fairly. You betcha. I don't care, Mr. Southwest. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Kind of an attitude. It's kind of like one of those guys that sit at a guard gate. You know what I mean? They sit there and they love their power. If you don't have a pass, you ain't getting in, even though your mom is living there. It was threatening people. It was threatening that he wanted to hurt someone. You know, and that, 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 just that alone, even if you were not drunk, that's not going to get you on a flight. We're leaving the terminal. Probably not going to do the 8 o'clock flight out of the United. We'll leave tomorrow. We'll try to get tomorrow. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to stay another day. I'm a social drinker. I like having a good time. And I realize that people, after they have so many drinks, they turn into different persons. And that's something that we, as supervisors, have to deal with. We'll never fly Southwest again. We will never, ever, and I fly it all the time, ever again. Um, I don't know. I, I, thought, I don't believe him. I think he's going to be on Southwest again. And probably, with my luck, I'll probably check him in tomorrow or next week. At Chicago Midway, Angel's been called to handle a dispute between two passengers. The lady's jumped in front of me. I told her to get out from front of me. Come on, where? I, I told him that I stepped in front of you. There. I don't appreciate this at all. 
Seems the woman in question has a bee boarding card. But as the bees had already boarded, she stepped in line ahead of the other passengers in the sea line. Excuse me, I'm not invisible. I paid the same ticket she paid. She could just jump in front of me and act like I don't exist. Ken West and his fiance have sea boarding passes. Let me get this off my chest. I'm not invisible. She jumped in front of me. I asked her that was very rude. I don't appreciate it. So then she turned around and started cussing me out. Okay? I didn't do nothing. So then she turned around and cussed me out some more. I said, I, I think you need to go somewhere else. So then she stepped out of the line. Now all this is because of that? Okay, what did I do? You don't have to yell, sir. We, we just Excuse me, I'm upset. Okay, well, that lady over there is kind as well. We had witnesses. I don't understand this. Excuse you me. didn't call her over here and interrogate her? Okay, she was very upset. About what? Yeah, okay, so about getting in front of me and cussing me out? Sir. Okay. All right, I'm sorry. I'm insulted. Okay. And I need the, 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 the apology somewhere around here. I'm a paying customer, ain't I? Where are you trying to go to? Las Vegas, home. Let me see the next flight. Why do I have to have a next flight? I can't let you board on this flight. Why? Because right now, a lot of people are intimidated and frightened of him. Because what of people the way, are intimidated shouting. and frightened? Okay, I'm not going to go into names or anything. You know what? My know brother is people. a police officer. Do I need to call him? This is ridiculous. I don't you know. If they, well, no, let me just say I'm one thing. Let me say one thing. If he does not fly, that woman better not be on the plane either. Wait, wait, I it's as simple as that. Lady that cussed me question? out, jumped in front of me. I asked her not to do it. She got out of the way. Now I can't fly home. He's upset because he's a little louder than this one, but this woman went off. Oh, hell no. Back in Chicago, Angels called Karen for backup. Okay, this gentleman's upset because he said a lady in line jumped in front of him. She wasn't in line, and she jumped in front of me. Okay. Now, I'm being okay. escorted out, and I can't get my flight home. Okay. Andy? Because of what? You say somebody says, I'm intimidating? Okay. Yeah, I'm mad. Somebody cussed me okay. out because, in public. Because you were louder than she was, but I okay. guess they didn't say anything about when she threatened his life and called him okay. a Oh, what man. happened first? First things first, sir. You need to calm down because we do not transport customers that you know appear to be a threat to the flight or anything like that. You need to calm down. Let me find out from Angel. If this what woman happened. gets on the plane, y'all gonna have some trouble with me. Sir, you're, you can't get on the plane acting like this. So you need to calm down. Oh, well, if I'm not getting on the plane, then the person that started this mess cannot get on the plane. I don't have any so consequences. Far. I ain't done nothing wrong. Okay, well, let me find out what's happened so far. She got upset, so he went off on her. That's the story. Yeah, I got, that's what happened. I had asked, I said, are you an A, B, or C loading? And he says C, and I said, okay. And then I just got in front of him, because I thought, because so, I'd asked the guy in front of him, are you an A, B, or C? And he said B, and I said, okay, so if he's a C, then he's a B, then I go right here. Okay, that's what happened. Okay, did you exchange words with him at that point, or anything? I said, I'm sorry, is what I said, and, and he just started talking. I my bad, you know. We're, we're going to see how he is if he calm down, and we're going to look up the next flight to see if it's available. In Chicago, Karen tells Ken West and his fiance their options. Um, it appears as though um, whatever happened over there, was it wasn't any more anyone's fault. That I guess she asked you what group you were going into, and you said C, or, and she tried to... I guess cut in front of you. She didn't try. She walked okay. and stepped she in cut, front of okay. me. And he just said, get away from I'm me. I'm not going to be disrespected. Yeah. Okay? I'm a hard working man. I, I don't break no laws. I ain't got no business being treated like this. Okay? Okay. But we sir, we have to make a decision based on what we feel comfortable your situation is at okay, this now, point. We have not been able to you, reason with you or talk to you without you yelling you, and screaming at us. If you want to help me, then you get her over here. Okay. For what? The only reason she can't catch the flight for, okay. for me. Your reaction to, and from what Andy and the ops agent witnessed, your reaction after all this is what we have to deny you boarding for, not what happened in the little altercation between two customers. The Excuse way me. We, we, if you we, were being detained because you did nothing wrong, would you be happy about okay. it? Well, I have a choice right now, sir, to either deny you boarding for the day or to put you on the next flight, depending on how we're going to handle the situation Then I guess you need today. to make your decision. Okay, and okay. I, I need your cooperation to make the decision. If what this, do you want me to do? I just need you to... Tie me up, put me in handcuffs, no, I just need shut to, me up. No, I just need you to calm I'm a down. bolsterous person. I've always been that my okay. whole life. Well, if you're going to continue to be that way, sir, I can't transport you to Las Vegas today. That's the, that's what I need you to do. Then I will just have me. to get my lawyer then, my man, because this is not acceptable. Okay. Not at all. If you're not going to come down, if you're not going to just accept you just what is happening. You keep throwing threats at me like I did something wrong. 
In Chicago, things are at a stalemate with Ken and his fiance. Put my shoes on. I cannot put you on board. Put my shoes on. Somebody telling you they're going to take you, not let you go home because if you they're telling you you can't get on your flight. Right. If you continue to act the way that you're acting, yes, I cannot transport you on there. I cannot put you on an airplane with flight attendants serving you and serving other customers. I cannot put you on there knowing they that this is the They didn't do nothing you're... wrong to me. Just the people that do me that wrong. I are having a difficult time even trying to talk to you. The you won't even get the woman off the plane. The captain has made the decision. And she gets to get on the plane and so somebody me. else. Wait a minute. If he cries, will he get, big, get to go on the plane no. too? No. If he cries, I bet he can cry no. too. Whatever the ops agent Andy witnessed, or he, they, they told this the This is prejudice. Yes, it, it is. is. I'm uh, being treated up. Discrimination. Okay. Now you've got me mad. Okay, well we have to we're gonna have to deny you this point. Okay. No! Yes. This no. is this is unacceptable. Who is your manager? Excuse me. He was just he couldn't get past the fact that he was being denied boarding on this flight and the other customer was not. Based on what the ops agent observed firsthand, the ops agent felt what he witnessed that that customer, the gentleman didn't did need to be denied boarding and the lady did not. All I did was tell the lady that was a rude move. That's all I did, and I wasn't even allowed. Now they're telling me they might not, might not even be able to fly out of here today. There was just no reasoning, reasoning with him, and that we just needed to deny him boarding for the night, which is a very difficult decision. We never want to, you know, disrupt somebody's flight like that. But I just felt it was in the best interest of the customers, you know, that would be traveling tonight. At BWI, Chris is waiting for a connecting passenger to Tampa. Passenger wouldn't turn his cell phone off, you know, he announced to the plane that he was you know, drunk. Um, so we're just gonna, you know, wait for them to come up here and take care of them when they do come up. Passenger Thomas Lurie arrives, along with fellow passenger Kimberly Breedlove, who sat next to him. We have had some reports that the party coming in was uh, a little belligerent. I needed and to go to the bathroom. He was denied going to the bathroom. Because yeah. they were sitting there, she said, we wanted to take it off and on, we were just bought it. Okay, I was in C, I was the last person in. And I wanted to go to the bathroom, and she said, well, we're taking off. I said, okay. I sat down, I waited 10 minutes, and I go, I got to go. She when the plane board. starts to move, it okay, was I'll not call moving. You when I Did it pull out from the jetway? No. And then she said, well, we no. got to get up 10,000 feet. And I go, I can't well, wait 10,000 feet. I really got to You know, go. I have to go with what our what our crew told us on the aircraft. Um, to me right now, you don't seem like you're intoxicated. I so down, I'm, I I'm more. Coke. I didn't drink no alcohol. Uh, also, was there an issue with the cell phone? No, no, no. She wanted to give me her number. So I turned it on for her to put her number Also, in. when the plane pushes back from the gate, so all cell phones okay, need then, to be off. So the, this is the stuff we okay, have to clear no, up. No, no, this is stuff we got to okay. clear up before you, you're going to get yeah, on the no, plane. no, I got to go. And that was it. We're going to go ahead and let him get on the plane. I've asked him not to drink anymore. Um, and, uh, you know, warned him about staying in the seat and about the cell phone. And hopefully, you know, by midnight, he'll be in Tampa with his kids. Back at BWI, the Tampa flight is ready to depart but the captain has just requested two passengers be denied boarding. Sue Lee has to break the bad news. Thomas has pulled off the flight, along with the passenger sitting next to him, Kevin McGowan. Okay. The reason that they've been pulled off the flight is that the captain yeah. said that he did not want you on here for safety reasons because you appear to be intoxicated. There was some issues with with you and I had to go to the bathroom. Okay. That's I'm it. not. I don't. I'm not going to get into an argument here. It's as simple as that. The captain wants you off the aircraft, and I have to listen to and obey to his okay, rulings. Okay, so we want to stand on one foot for like 30 seconds or something like that. You're, this this is the last flight tonight. We'll rebook you for the morning. The FAA ruling is if you've been denied boarding for due to intoxication, you have to wait at least eight hours. I'm going by what the captain told me to do. Apparently, you two are together. You I'm not, not with him. him. I'm not with him at all. I'm not intoxicated. I'll take a breathalyzer right now. Okay. I don't know, I know what I their like problem. Years. I was drunk. Yeah. I didn't do anything. I did nothing. I did nothing. I did nothing. Let's, let's, let's go and talk about okay, this at the top of the jet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get off the plane and talk about it. Now you gotta wait till tomorrow. No, no what is like your most idiot birthday? Now you can get off this area. I'm not drunk. I didn't do anything that was against the rules. Back at BWI, Thomas and Kevin are still none the wiser as to why they can't fly. Somebody because he did okay. something on the other plane that I wasn't even involved with. Yeah, I went to the bathroom. Yeah, he went to the bathroom. And it, I wasn't even involved in that. I just I sat, I waited till the seatbelt's on. There apparently was some problem coming in from Iceland. 
I was wasn't even involved. I didn't do anything for my stuff. They were sitting next to me. On I was the plane. just that sitting was next to. Him. I don't even know this guy. I met him like like on the plane, sitting down next to me. And now because he did something in Iceland, I gotta wait till tomorrow and miss my grandmother's birthday because because uh. Well, I'm sorry. I was instructed by the captain to pull you off the aircraft. For what reason? Due to the fact that you appeared to be intoxicated. In what way? First off, first off, you know, I came from work, okay, on the first flight. And I got to the plane late and everything. I ran to the bathroom, and she said, you can't go. I said, all right. Sat down. Ten minutes later, I go, I got to go to the bathroom. That was it. That's what this is all about. The captain was the one that made the final decision. What captain? This captain, captain or the other the captain? captain? No, the captain of this flight. What, because he had information about the other flight that I did nothing oh, on? Hold up, hold up. The other flight, all I did was go to the bathroom. Well, I don't know about that, sir. I wasn't there. All I can tell you is that I was requested to go down the jetway and to pull the two of you off. This woman here is, you know, uh, apparently all oh, the captain says I'm drunk and you get off, you know, and that's it. No one asked me anything. You, get off the plane. You're stuck here till 7.30. Not like what went on, what's going on, is there a problem, whatever, you know, you know? <laughs> so how are you feeling right now? You I'm know? pretty off. I got my say. I don't know what the hell am I going to do here? I'm stuck. I don't even, what, Washington or whatever, you know, I don't know. What am I going to do? You know, it's like my, my family's waiting to pick me up at 12.20 and I, I'm stuck here till tomorrow morning. Back at BWI, Kevin's not going quietly. Who's your supervisor? Who can I talk to? I am the supervisor. You are the supervisor? What kind of is this? I what, have what, to what's the next plane to Florida? Can I, I have to wait till tomorrow morning? And what do I do till then? You have to wait until tomorrow morning. And what, fly here? You're going to go, yeah? You're welcome. I can give you a distressed passenger rating for a hotel, or you're welcome. For me, to I got to pay there. anyway. I got to pay again. I already got a room somewhere else. If the captain asks me to take up, they have the final word. So. I, got I don't even know him because I was sitting next to him. You know, it's, it's I don't know. But like, what do I do? Do I complain? Write a letter? What does that get me? Nothing. My day back? I don't think. Okay, this is your flight for tomorrow morning. It's at 7:30. I mean 7:10. You arrive in at 9:30. And what? You do nothing for me until then? Right. There's nothing Where more I, I can do. Where I sleep and lodge is on my own? You can, yes, sir. Unfortunately, it is, yes. yes. So you're on your own now till the morning, and then we'll get, get the boarding now. card, and you can get on that aircraft. It's my grandma's 80th birthday. You know? I'm not drunk. I did nothing obnoxious. I yelled at nobody. I was I was completely polite to all the stewardess and, and people in charge of things. I realize that they're in charge of the, the flight and what goes and what they say is, you know, and that's that. And no one told me and any way to do anything that I didn't follow along with. And now I gotta stay here till tomorrow morning, so. I don't even know this guy. We just met, he sat next to me. This is where he's at, this is where I'm at, for what? Nothing. I wish it'd gone a little smoother. I know the guy, the, especially the gentleman in the white T-shirt was very upset, and I can understand that. However, when a captain says, you know, they want him off the aircraft, I don't have a choice. I have to take him off. Both Kevin and Thomas made it to Tampa the following morning. At Chicago Midway, the crew of the last flight to Providence have noticed some strange behavior by two of their passengers. Teresa, are they denying them boarding because they're about to board? No, they're not going to board. I mean, I'm not going to deny you boarding on this flight out to Southwest Airlines. We won't be able to fly you out into Providence tonight. I will lose my job. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm sorry. We won't be able to fly you out to Providence. I'm not drunk. You appear to be. I'm not saying that you are, but I'm just saying that you appear to be. He, he lost his job because my mother passed away and he came and saw her. I'm sorry. So, folks, yeah. I'm no, sorry. you don't give a Folks, I'm no, sorry. You don't. Well, no, you don't care. Yeah, I am sorry. He but lost right his now. job because he came with me. Okay, I'm sorry, but right now your only option is to rebook for tomorrow. He's not drunk and I'm not drunk. I'm At sorry. At least let him go because I will lose my job. I'm sorry, I can't. can't lose him. We can't take a chance of you no, being I'm upset 30,000 feet in the air. And I'm not going to be upset a disturbance. 30. I just want to get on to my daughter. I'm sorry. I have a little daughter at home. I'm sorry. No, I can't let you trip. I'm sorry. If you're sorry, you'd let me okay. go there. Okay, let's do that. This is why the We're not ever yeah, going southwest ever again. Okay. They're liars yeah, 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 and they're yeah, 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 Please, please, please. Okay. Please, 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 calm down. Buddy, I'm not drunk. I didn't All right. drink anything. Oh, my, my mother God. got What the oh, My daughter's at home by herself. What the hell? I hope you they were observed in the concourse, getting into an altercation with each other. Um, it, they do appear to have been drinking. I'm not sure how long or how much. 
I really can't challenge the circumstances that they're sharing with me, but I have no choice. I have to consider the comfort and safety of everybody on that flight. Yeah, well, I'll lose my job now. Yeah, because you're home. Buddy performs his own sobriety right. test. No, Look I'm fine. I mean, I'm oh, fine. Colin, There's nothing any, wrong with any me. State confident, any confident state would find me fine on this one. Probably yeah, seen in the airport. On the stupid airport. They should, buy me, they should at least pay for the My hotel. daughter is going to be at and the airport in Providence waiting for me. We could both lose our jobs because of I don't want to talk about it, but I will sue this airline. Trust this me. Is, this is this not is right. absurd. This is ridiculous. Can't they see how people are sad? No, she's upset. She just lost her mother. And he's, because they think she's drunk. She's just upset. She's just drunk. They won't let us on a My damn plane. Died. We had one drink over here. And they're saying we're too drunk to board That's the plane. She's had. upset. Understandably, she's upset. Albert, what would you like to do? Would you like me to rebook you for tomorrow, or do you want to no, call I'm and rebook? On the, uh, no, I'm going on the airlines because you people suck. Okay, well here's your I tickets. I want a refund. Here's right your tickets. Now. Give me a refund out of there. I want cash. Okay. I pay cash. You'll have I want my money. I want okay. my money. You're gonna have we to send didn't do in anything. for your. No, I ain't send for. Okay. You, when I book the flight, you okay. want my money? Okay. Right now, I want my money. Okay. All right? Here's your ticket. Go in the cash drawer, give me my money. No, I won't be doing that, sir. You won't? We just no. want a ticket. Take your well, tickets. How we get okay. it? Okay. I got my ticket. Okay. Kiss my um, If they keep coming up to the podium, we'll call the police. Buddy and Paula may not be on the Providence flight, but their bags are. I'll have to have it expedited back, sir. You'll have to what pick you it up. What do you mean expedited back? Can I have your bag tag? I'll ask the bag office to expedite it back. Uh, I should have it back from where, ma'am? From Providence. Well, why the hell would I want to back, ship back so from Providence? Do you have your plane check? You have everything. Check? You have everything. Okay. okay. I'm not going to take the bag off the aircraft. So that aircraft is ready to leave. Oh, okay. my God. Okay. Now you're going overboard. Now you're going overboard. Sir, yes, please, I'm going to ask you to stop. I'm going to ask you to stop. I'm going to you ask are you to going stop. Overboard now, ma I'm asking you to stop screaming uh, my, my and swearing. Where the hell is your sympathy here? Uh, sir, I'm very sympathetic to your situation, but you keep screaming at me and you keep calling I'm, me names. I'm trying not and to I'm, scream, but I'm very upset. Okay. We have I understand to be, that, but I'm not, I'm not calling you names and I'm not screaming at you, and I'm doing the best I can to help you. Don't go there. Don't go all the way back to square one. But something vital to Paula's health is on that Providence flight. My blood pressure uh, medicine and my heart medicine, I have a very bad heart. I have a bad ticker. And if I start coughing and if I get upset, and I don't have my medicine because my medicine's in that bag, I don't know what I'm going to do. It took me too, too damn long to find her. I don't do it if I lost her. I will know now if I ever fly, never to act like I'm sad. My wife needs medication. Is the medicine, is it in your bags? Yes. Med the medication was in the bags. The only thing right now we can do for the medication is if you guys need to purchase emergency medication. We need a prescription. We need to call Rhode Island, which is a doctor to close right now. Okay, so you, she but, needs this medication. I understand, right. but if you if have... If something happens to my wife, she, she dies, number one, I'll tear this whole place apart and I will sue this place I will own this is there anything else we could do for you right now absolutely you've done enough trust me thank you you've been, you've been helpful the other the rest of them can kiss my ass buddy and Paula bed down for the first flight in the morning I didn't sleep no blankets no pillows we didn't give us pillows blankets this, we slept on this and my this, coat this. that was it and then when they they uh, strip searched uh, no, search 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 she maybe pulled up my undid my pants Lifted up my shirt. <laughs> Just harassed me. Oh, yeah. After 12 hours stuck in the airport, Paula and Buddy finally head home. Have a good day. Take care. Right, I'll take care. Get me home. Massive delays due to the bad weather in other cities are affecting all flights out of Chicago. Colleen has been called to gate B-15. Seems one of the passengers hasn't been on his best behavior. Okay, who's the one who keeps screaming and swearing? Okay, okay. Step back, sir, right no, now. No. Step back now. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell you one time that that is not appropriate and it's not acceptable. Then okay? be professional, okay. be professional. Sir, I will be pro as professional with you as you are with me. To stand there and scream and swear at these people is not acceptable. Four o'clock, I've been here. Okay. Don't tell me the guy behind me is more important than me. Please don't tell me that. I'm not telling you anything, sir. What I'm telling you is that your, your demeanor right now with these employees oh. is not acceptable. Oh, say anything to them and they get pissed? Okay. Step back, sir, and I'll find out what's going on, let's and then talk. we will talk professionally, okay? But you will not, you will not keep screaming and swearing. Oh, screaming! That's okay. cool. I didn't say a word okay. enough. Step, step back for a minute, sir, until you're calm enough to talk to me, okay? Now this is Colleen. It's seven o'clock at Midway, and St. Louis passenger Bill Gutweiler waits his turn. Okay, sir, do you want to try to speak to me now? Lamp. Okay. Couldn't be more professional. I want to know okay. when I was here at four o'clock why I'm not on an airplane. You tell me. Okay. I, my understanding is you think that you should take priority over the other people Since that I've been are here. here at four o'clock. Okay. Yes, I do. Sir, everybody was delayed today because of the weather. You are what not. What weather? Okay. Do you see the storm? Okay. If you keep shouting at me, sir, our conversation's going to be over. You see I'm not storm? not raising my voice you to see you. A storm? Sir, you're screaming and swearing I at these swear employees. Anybody. You, you screamed and sworn at me since I walked up here, sir. It's not professional, it's not appropriate. Then and if it, can, if it continues, you will not travel with us at all. Back at Midway, it's more bad news for Bill. Okay, folks, flight 1273 to St. Louis is now full. Once again, if you were trying to go on flight 1273, service to St. Louis, that flight is now full. Okay, Mr. Gutweiler, this flight is full. You're gonna have to go to B18 if you'd like to try to get on that list. Try. You're gonna try to get on that flight? Right. Yes, sir. If your demeanor is the same at that gate, I will deny you boarding. There is no reason for you to treat the employees that way. You cannot behave at the next gate the way so, that you have just you behaved. you have the right to do this to me? Sir, I'm sorry. Are you in a flight? Sir, I'm sorry you're frustrated, and I'm sorry that the weather has inconvenienced so many people. Okay. Do you see sir, it raining? Do you see it raining? Sir, we're under a weather advisory, and we have been all day, okay? Did I am boarding? Okay, okay, he's done. All right. Okay. Oh, I got to see if he's I'll be right there. Yeah. At gate B18, Colleen arrives to find that Bill Gutweiler has actually been given a seat on a flight to St. Louis. Even after my conversation with him, he's come down to the next gate and actually done the same thing to the to the ladies at the gate here. So, I really think that it's best that he not travel tonight. Do you see him? Colleen is adamant Bill should not be allowed to fly. I need you to step off the aircraft, sir. Sir! I need you to step off the aircraft, sir. Because I need you to step off the aircraft. Do you have a reason? Yes, I do. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, your ticket has been refunded. Your behavior continued at the next gate, and there was no reason for it. I, I can't allow you to home. Turn. I understand that, sir. So you does everyone else. You don't understand nothing. Sir, I've refunded your ticket. I've refunded your ticket, sir. I'm sorry. You will not travel with us tonight. You cannot treat the employees treat that way. Who? Sir, your ticket has been refunded. I went on this plane. Sir. How did it bother anybody? Refunded. You're being a jerk about this. I'm denying you boarding, sir. Your behavior at those two gates was not acceptable. I cannot allow you to travel. I'm sorry. You will not travel tonight, I'm sorry. Bill's now going to have to drive home. I'm very unhappy. I mean, I was here at four o'clock to get my flight to go home, and now I'm being rejected because you know what? I stood up for my rights. I stood up for my rights, that's all I did. At Midway, flight 2053 to Orlando has completed boarding. But passenger Dwight Collins hasn't made it down the jetway. Oh it'll, it'll be just, just hang on this for one minute. Why well, I got to just, just hang on here for a minute. I don't have a, I got a ticket. I'm going to Orlando. It's an e-ticket. But he won't set my ticket to go on the plane. It'll be, it'll be just a minute here. It's just to be a minute. Well, why? It wasn't a minute for everybody else. It's a minute for me, though. Yet, guess what? I can't get on the plane, because I got to wait a minute. Janice steps oh, in. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. No more. 
I'm trying to get on the plane. Well, and what's wrong with you? Because he, he he says I can't get on the plane. Because you're acting a little strange. No, I am not acting strange. He said, wait a minute. I'm looking around, I'm like, everybody else is on the plane. Why I can't get on the plane? Have you been drinking? Yes, I have. I, I did that. Smell it. Yeah, yes, I That's have. why he's not letting you on the plane. No, 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 yes. no. That has nothing to do. Yes, he's, he's not I mean, I'm, I said, no. <laughs> but guess what? Southwest Airlines did not let me go on a plane today. Well, because I have been drinking. Well, you know, I don't know what to do with you. You know, you have been drinking. Back at Midway, Dwight relives his denied boarding. All I was saying is, hey, this is my ticket. Wrong, wrong line. You gotta get in the sea line. Okay, fine. I'm in the sea line. Okay, here we go. No, you can't go. All right, cool. All right, let me sit down. And let you think about what you gotta do. What? What did I do? What did? What did it happen? Because I was drinking. Because you smell alcohol on my breath is mean that. Guess what? I cannot go. Am I rational? Yes, I am rational. Janice brings him over to the desk to reschedule his ticket. So let me have your boarding pass. Can I get out today? Yeah. Not tomorrow? No. Oh. You and, uh, Do you know something? There, there's a thousand people in here that's drinking. Right, but you have overdone it. No, and we will not allow you to fly on the planes today. Oh, oh. oh. Now, do you I don't, want me but to you, rebook let the you for tomorrow? The would you like me to rebook you for tomorrow? I'd like you to, I'd like you to do no, something. No, you're not going out today. No, refund my ticket. OK, Here. I can do that also. I sat down in that chair, looked up, and said, can I go now? And that son of a gun said, no. I didn't give him any hassle, any anything. Your flight is refunded, so now you can go try to find a flight on somebody else. Thank you. He was not fine. I mean, there was no way he was going to travel. He was out of control, and he liked making a scene. It's all in Dwight's hands now. He'll have to find a way to Orlando on his own. Back at Midway, Dwight is still protesting his innocence. All I did was ask you, can I sit down on the plane? I paid for a ticket. That, shoot, guess, matter of fact, guess what you're going to do? You're going to serve me a damn drink on the airplane. If we were to let him travel, he could be a problem to the other passengers. He could hassle them. We don't know. We don't know what he acts like when he's under the influence of alcohol. If I went ballistic, then that's fine. All right, get me out of there. But I didn't. I was calm. Well, now he'll have to wait till tomorrow morning because we won't let him fly till the very next day. Used to, we'd let him go a couple of hours, sober up, but not anymore. The FAA says now they have to wait till the next day in order to fly. I feel that like I just got, as long as George Bush and this dog, believe me, it's going to be the same thing for everybody. Not just me as a black man, but you too. And I'm filled with it. Back at Midway, Dwight's taking time out to reflect on his denied boarding. That's wrong. I'm all about being, hey, even if I'm wrong, I'm all about being right. You see what I'm saying? Even if I'm wrong, let me take, hey, I'm wrong. But I'm still all about being right. It's time to find a flight home. But after a long search, and with no flights to Florida today, an exhausted Dwight finally catches 40 winks before trying again tomorrow. At Baltimore Washington International, Carol has been called to deal with a report of an intoxicated passenger. What's your name? I'm sorry, I'm Okay. Okay. Well, we had a little bit of concern because I guess earlier there was some concern. We, you can like, oh, no. I'm sorry. There was a concern that uh, you may have been drinking alcohol. And so some concerns were brought up earlier about that. And we're a little bit concerned now just because your demeanor, you're kind of swaying back and forth. 
Are you on no, any kind of medication or anything? I don't, I don't have my glasses on. Okay. And I have glaucoma. Okay. Well, I guess I just needed to bring to your attention that we were just a little bit concerned. Yeah. To just make sure that there weren't going to oh. be any other situations. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. Cool. Well, I guess initially the police have been involved just because of the possible altercation between him and I guess his female companion that's with him. Uh, he does seem to be under the influence of something. So just because his behavior, his demeanor, um, when he shook my hand, he didn't let go of it. He just kind of stood there. He was kind of holding my hand. So Back at BWI, Carol speaks with the pilot and decides to have another conversation with Lewis Reed. So, can I just talk to you folks for a second over here? I just need to talk to the three all over here. Lewis is traveling to Raleigh, North Carolina with his wife and grandson for a family reunion. Okay. Okay. My grandson. Well, we kind of need to make a decision right now if, if the two of you want to travel without him today. He's not going to be able to get on this flight. Um, we may allow you to travel later oh, on the day, but right oh, now oh, we're not going to have. Can we go where we got to go? Right, and I understand that you want to go. Use that bathroom. Okay, that you can do in the restroom, but we're not going to be able to let him travel on this flight. So you all need to make a decision whether you want to go, and we'll get him yeah, on a later flight. Have, well, you have to get him. You have to go on a later flight to see you. You got to so follow where? the rules and regulations. What, well, what I was going to do is explain happened? that to you. I just didn't want to do it in front of your grandson. We Girl, I'm not doing it, and you're not getting on it. Be going on the same no, flight. No, we're not. We can't because you didn't. Like okay. You this is what I'm going to do. We'll set in the restaurant. No, I'm not. And we'll I'm take not. the next I'm flight. I'm out right. of here. We're going to let her. We're going to we're gonna take the next flight. I'm well, she wants to go on this flight, so what, what we're going to do is going to allow her to do that. Ma'am, if you and him want to go ahead and board, that's, you can go on because your group is boarding right now. And then what we'll do... I don't know where you live Let me, uh, down right, there. Edge, my folks, oh, the phone God. Over and we'll put notes in the reservation so that you know what flight he's coming. This is racism. All right, I'll get my lawyer. Can I call my lawyer, please? Back at BWI, with his wife and grandson choosing to abandon him, Lewis's mood has taken a turn for the worse. Please. Sir. Okay. And this is exactly I'm always what... loud. I've been in the service. What you want me to do? Right, okay, sir. Give me my sister's phone number so she can come and get me. I'll no. get it, sir. They're trying to lock me up, squirrel, and you being stupid. No, I'm not. I could be, I could be where I'm going in, in 20 minutes, and you're giving me a problem? Exactly, sir. All right, cool. Right. Do what you got to do. Sir, I'm going to ask you to wait so, right here. Give sir. me the phone I don't number. Rob, well, where am I going to get a phone number? Rob. Just the phone. Call, call my sister. You can go right on up front. Rob, we're going to board these All two right, right here. Cool. As his family right, board the me. flight, Carol brings uh, in some uh, assistance. I don't, I don't even know it's about the right. fact that the captain has concerns about you flying. So, right now, what we're what doing. Fine? that they have concerns about you flying. Who? The captain has concerns about you flying. And I have concerns about you flying. So right now, we're telling you that you're not able to fly on this flight. Well, when can I travel? Well, we got on a flight with you. Right, the concern is I don't know that you're gonna be able to travel today. It depends on your behaviors. Because um, this behavior is now the second is time. It's well, okay. unfortunately, it wouldn't be good or they wouldn't be standing here. I can assure you we don't. Yeah. Um, I think for right now, maybe he needs to probably go back up front to the ticket counter. Yes, sir. The police were called just as backup, just because he seems a little unstable to me. They spoke to him, and we've asked him just to leave the concourse for now. If he wants to try to go later, he can go up to the ticket counter and try to get rebooked. But we're going to put notes in his reservation. I don't know that he'll be fit to travel at all today, but for now, he's at least been advised he needs to stay out of the bar and get himself together. Lewis is led back downstairs. Now, he just has to stay out of trouble long enough to make a later flight. Back at PWI, Lewis tries to get a boarding card for the next flight to Raleigh. Okay, um, as they said, um, the next flight is at 4 o'clock. I guess you're going to have to see what happens until then. Okay, um, you're just going to have to hang tight until at least 3 o'clock before we get rechecked to you. While he waits, Gina steps in to talk to him. I got I to gotta find out which way I'm going. That's it. You, if you want, the you want the bus, you said? Yeah, I got the ticket for the bus. You actually have a ticket for Southwest. You don't have a ticket for a bus. No, I can make I'm going to bus. North Carolina. Okay. I'm going to get on the bus. I mean the plane. Oh, the plane. Yeah, the plane. Okay. And go to North Carolina and get off in Raleigh, and they're going to pick me up. Okay. Yes, sir. What's All happening? Right. I don't yeah. know. The police are afraid that he's going to go to the security checkpoint. 
but it t just told him that he didn't have a boarding pass, he won't get through the checkpoint, he just has that ticket. But I mean, if he doesn't chill out and sober up, they'll, they'll arrest him right away. Hopefully he just stays out of trouble so he can get home tonight. It's a confusing situation for Lewis. Number one, I don't know what's happening. Uh, evidently, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. That's all I, I know. I don't, I don't even know, man. I, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. And, and to tell you the truth, when I get out of this airport, I ain't coming back to it. That's all I got to say. Lewis managed to stay on the right side of the police and arrived in Raleigh four hours later. I am on that flight because I'm getting married. And I'm on that flight. You're not on this flight, man. I'm sorry. Paper. There's another bride on the brink upstairs. Leah Banker is getting married tomorrow morning in Cleveland. Or is she? Okay, apparently you didn't make your flight. No, no, no. He took me off. off. Okay. That's nice, I'm getting married. <laughs> well, Leah, it appears as though you may have been, maybe have had something to drink, and yes, that's why I they did. were Yes, I did, at his uh, Miller Pub. But unfortunately, we can't allow you to travel while you're in this condition. I'm so, not in any condition. I want to be there. If you continue to drink, there will not be an opportunity for you to travel tonight at all. What we can do is we can look at some flights later this evening and give you a chance to maybe, you oh, know. Oh, that's why I suppose you guys are going to give me a free phone call. It's going to be OK, Leah. Don't cry. It's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. Will we commit suicide? No, I don't want you to do that. In Cleveland? Yes. OK, I don't want you to be upset. The last flight of the night gives you some time to kind of get yourself together. No more yeah, drinking. Well, it, it don't really matter. It don't matter. I'm going to be different than I am now. Then well, none, it, none, it, it's... none. I met him here in this airport a month ago. Do you want me to help you across the hall? No. OK. Help. All righty. OK. Unless Leah sobers up, she'll miss her own wedding. I, I'm ready. I'm suing. I am suing Southwest Airlines. I am. I am. Back in Chicago, looks like Leah Banker is going to be late to her own wedding. If you want to know, I do not recommend Southwest Airlines at all. Never! Ever! Yeah, it's real. I'm supposed to be going to see Tim and marry Tim. I can't get a hold of him because he's at the airport looking for me. Oh, he's going to kill me. I guess I'll go smoke a joint since I can't smoke a cigarette. i go get stoned. Uh, the wrong thing somebody could have possibly done to me for the year 2004. Happy New Year, people. This is the airplane you want to live on. This is the one you want to work with, because they don't work with you. Okay, I went out this airport so I can smoke a cigarette. She's not been very cooperative, and she made some statements in the info center that indicated she may continue to drink tonight. I had two. Heineken beers. So what? Everybody drinks in America? <laughs> I think I've been more than clear about what she needs to do. So we'll see. Last flight to Cleveland. But will Leah be in a fit state to board? I have pictures of the man I'm going to marry in white. And that guy there, Tony, met me in the airport and he said, Tim, that woman has no teeth. <laughs> the decision is down to Colleen. How you doing? You doing okay? I'm fine. I'm just tired. We're going to give it a try, Leah, okay? We're going to give it a try. Good luck tomorrow. Hey. Big day. I'm off to get married. I'm gonna perform the function. They're drinking on this side, okay? Oh, I know that. <laughs> but I do get water. Yeah, you get water. Hi. 
At Baltimore Washington International, Sue is dealing with an intoxicated passenger who has been denied boarding on the last flight to Fort Lauderdale. So when you reschedule me, what's going to happen? You'll be staying here for the evening, and then you'll, for the night, and you can go out tomorrow morning. But I would like to get home tonight. I understand that, sir, but... I live in Fort Lauderdale. You can have a drink or wine before you go on the airplane. I understand that, so sir. So if you're going to rebook me for a, a flight in the morning, that's fine. But if you can point me to a hotel, that's even better. I can but I'm going just... right there, American Airlines, and see if I can get a flight. You'd have to do that on your own. You're on your own when it but comes to... But the best you can do for me is give me a hotel room. No, I cannot give you a hotel room. So what can you do for me since I, I can... paid you money? I can rebook you for the morning. Rebook me for the morning so I can go somewhere else. All right, sir. I need you to calm okay, down. Fine. Can I get an airplane for you? Sir, I can't give you a flight till the morning. That's fine. Now, do you want me to rebook you for 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, or do you want me to give so, you a refund? That's all I need to know. I need to know one or the other. And my daddy is a lawyer in New York City. All right, now? So, no disrespect. Nothing There's like no that. No disrespect taken, sir. I, I, I appreciate I everything you, you did for me. There's nothing else flying out tonight. I, I'm trying to get on my airplane. I had two drinks of wine. They won't let me get on my airplane. Yeah. It's paid for, completely paid for, and I don't want to disrespect anybody. Dude, I just want to get home. Frankie is still upset he's been denied boarding. Nicholas arrives to see if he can help the situation. But, but man, dude, I want to go home. No, I don't want to go home okay, in the morning. Sir, do you understand why you weren't able to fly tonight? Are, are you understanding why you were not able to fly tonight? Yes, I didn't. Okay, I'm sure I already explained to you that it is a safety hazard to yourself when you're not able to fly. Should an emergency Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to get fired on Monday because I've been at a freaking seminar all week and I had a drink at the end and I couldn't get on the plane, but that's okay. You know why that's okay? Because I'm in the service. I know what a man's about. Well, this has nothing to do with your manhood. Right now, it has to do with your safety. Nothing with my manhood. Dude. Okay. Dude. So we can reschedule you for tomorrow. No. Okay. You can try to find American Airlines. Dude, you are not the only airline in this airport. I'm sorry. I need sir. you. I sir. need you to calm down. I'm perfectly calm. No, you're not, sir. I need you to calm down. I'm sorry, and I apologize. Okay. Air, Eastern Airlines, American Airlines, a hundred of them. Come on. Mr. Mendez, Eastern Airlines no longer operates no, here in the United That's States. Not how, how about, TWA how no longer how operates. How about DWA? TWA no longer operates. Dude, whoever no operates, American I will give him my money. I okay. know Southwestern That's Airlines fine. ain't the only one. Okay, not a problem. American. I just want to get home, dude. Okay. I don't want to give you a hard time. No problem. I, I we want you to get home, My too. daddy is a cab driver. Okay. So he's got a harder job than all of you put together. Sir, how about we try and grab, grab you a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Would you like some Dude, tea or coffee? Dude, if you get me that plane, I will drink Jesus' tears. Okay. But I, I not want to put it like to you. I don't want to offend you. But well, you, you want me to come a coffee and you want to get me home, dude? That would be wonderful. Well, I don't want to hurt nobody. Like we can get you to Fort Lauderdale tonight, okay? We can get you to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow morning. I'm trying to call American Dude, Airlines. Are you Jesus? Okay. Sir. No, you're not every airline up in here. Sir, I sure she's got Hooters the Airline over here. And I sure that one of the Hooters, I'm mean, Hooters shoving my in my face. Then, uh, we're getting loud, sir. sir. We need your time. Sir. Can you, can you listen to us a second, please? i like to listen to you, okay. because you're making sense to me. OK, well, Sue's trying to assist you, and I'm sure she's making sense to you also. Dude, it's right my itinerary. Okay. I like to get home tomorrow, okay. because I have a sale tomorrow. Not a problem. I just called American Airlines. You're more than welcome to purchase a ticket on so them. So why is that, that I'm a more than welcome American Airlines, but not you? Because tomorrow morning, I think you'll be in a better condition to fly. Oh, tomorrow morning, American yeah. Airlines. Well, you said you need to get there first thing tomorrow Dude, morning. Dude, I ain't there tonight. The flight leaves at I 6. I own the business. Do you not understand that? So if you own the business, I'm sure that, you know, they will understand you a little Dude, bit later. I like to go home. I like to go home tonight. OK, you cannot go home tonight, sir. Unfortunately not. Sir, I'm going to, this is the last time we're going to speak to you. You're either going to rebook Give me my money back right now. OK, and then we'll escort you off the concourse. No, you will not. I will go to the next one. Yes, next and you'll one, be escorted one. off the concourse. I refunded your money. You can go ahead. American Airlines has a flight out tomorrow morning. It leaves at 6.05 a.m. You can go ahead and purchase a ticket on them if you wish. Dude, are you going to pay for my night? No. no so don't not, even sir. tell me. Okay. 
Well, we can give you a, a slip that you can call and they can give you a distressed passenger. Sure, don't don't take one of those out now, sir. Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. You see this? It's in the package. Mr. Mendez, here you go. You can give this number a call, and they can go ahead and arrange a discount hotel room for you. He's on his way, and we'll see what happens. He had quite a lot of interesting stories, though. wonder how many of them are true. At Baltimore Washington International, a plane has returned to the gate. Gina is called to investigate. A passenger is refusing to turn off his cell phone. Okay. Do you know how it ex that, that the plane had to pull back to the gate, the extent of this, sir? Well, they, they said that you told them that, that uh, they could go take a hike. I, what I is that what you was, said? What I told them was take a walk, and I'm, and I'm done. Take a walk? And I'm done. Sir, I'm going to ask you to grab your belongings and follow me off the aircraft, please. Why? Because well, sir, because the problem is when we get airborne, if you're going to do something, you're not going to follow it's instructions. It's not my intent not to follow whatever. Well, whatever you're not you giving us you're not giving us that impression. That's why they they asked that you be removed from the airplane, and I'm going to have to back them up on that. What am I going to do once I'm once I'm removed? Well, you'll, you'll have we to. We can talk we'll at the talk podium. We'll talk about it up there, and maybe take another flight later. But we don't want you to ride with us today. Frank Mussolino, denied boarding for using his phone, is now in no mood for talking. Hi. The plane pushed out. The plane pulled back to the gate. He was being insubordinate with the flight attendants. He wouldn't get off his cell phone. And apparently, he told the flight attendants to take a hike. Do you understand why we pulled Sir, you off the aircraft? Ma'am, I've been off. I've been put off the plane. Uh -huh. Just put me on the flight. I don't need a preacher to preach anything. It's I'm just trying to make I sure understand. you understand why, I sir. Understand. And I want you to understand the nature Ma of the answer. Excuse me, I sir. I do understand. For a flight to come back to the gate, that is a significant problem on board the aircraft that a flight had to come back to the gate. So I explained to him, and he didn't want to hear anything, so I went ahead and refunded his ticket, and the police escorted him off the concourse. There's deadheads, meaning that Southwest Airlines flight attendants that need to go to Norfolk to work a flight out of Norfolk. They have no seats left on the aircraft. She needs to find two extra seats on a full flight that's already boarding. We're the last two people to check in, and I can't get any volunteers, and I'm going to have to pull you off the aircraft, sir. That, that won't work. That's unsatisfactory. Com compensate you for it. I'm military under orders, and I need to get back. You're on orders? Yes, I am. They're on orders. I can't pull them. Great. Who were the last two before that? Marcia Jane and Tad Tor, please come up to the podium here at B-15. Hi, is it I call your name? Yeah. Okay. Um, right now, like I made an announcement, I couldn't get any volunteers. I can't do it. I'm going to Florida tomorrow. I got my son waiting for me right now. I can't do it. Um, I'm going to explain what we have to do to get these flight attendants on the aircraft. Well, I don't know why you picked me. The I'm doing it by the history that you guys checked in on the flight. I got tickets here to non-refundable. I, I, I have I to be there. Sir. I understand. I don't know why you picked me. My I, son and I'm waiting for me right now. I can't do it. Can I have your... Can I explain first, please? I understand, I'm but my I'm from that. Elizabeth City, North Carolina. I'm, they're coming from Elizabeth City, North Carolina to Norfolk to get me. This is my first time flying. I don't know nothing. Please let me get on there. Yeah, I honestly, I can't. Um, Carlton, Carlton, give him his boarding pass back. I need him at the podium, please. What's what? The guy in the green shirt. Back at BWI, Todd Torre has been denied boarding. If he misses this flight, he may lose out on a $2,000 holiday. I got children waiting for me. Sir, Can I do sir, this? Sir. I'm, I, I'm not trying to. I paid for this. This I, is not refundable. I understand that. If you could let, just. Can I talk, I, I, that's please? That's what I'm talking about. I got a plane to make. I got family waiting for me. You're not getting on that aircraft, sir. Oh, why you pick me? I, the order you guys checked in on is. Ma'am, I came in. You're number one. What does this got to do with me? I, I'm not. Look, this is, you please cannot just pick people yeah, like that. We're going to call somebody. I promise we'll I call somebody. I cannot do this. I cannot do it. I'm that's wrong. I'm denying you boarding, sir. And why? I apologize. You can't I have apologize. What is apologize? What do you pick me for? It's from the history you guys should What history, ma'am? Ma'am, can I get on the plane, please? Can I see your boarding pass? This is what you go by, sir. Can I see no, your boarding man, pass? Man, this is not right, ma'am. You this got another. Right. I don't care. I paid over two grand. Look, I have to get on this plane, ma'am. I understand that, sir, but there's not No, you're not, not understanding nothing. There's, it's not an option. You're not getting on that airplane. Why? 
You're not going to let me talk. I'm trying to explain. Why? I want to know why. You need to lower I your voice. I just spent $2,000, and I explain to me why. OK, everyone is, nobody else has to hear this, sir. I don't care about anybody else. You, they don't care about me. All I voice. know is I need you to be need on the to plane. You need to lower your voice, Ma'am, I ain't got to do nothing. I don't have to do nothing for you. Sir, I'm asking you to lower your voice. You're going to have to make me call the police. You call the police. Tell them, explain to them why the hell you pulling me off the damn plane Hey, for. I need the authorities to be 15, please. Ma'am, this is not right. This is totally no. At BWI, Gina's called in reinforcements to help calm Todd down. Call whoever. I don't give a damn. Call Bush. I don't care. I got to rebook you, sir. You're going to rebook me for what? I can't stay here no more, man. Oh, God. Can I see your boarding pass, please? Yes. See, this is crazy. We're I need, here to get on the bus. Y'all need to turn either. around. Ma'am, I ain't got nothing to do with Look, I cannot be here tomorrow. I have to be somewhere tomorrow. I understand that, and I'm sorry that I have to do this. I don't, I don't feel you're sorry. I don't feel you. I don't believe you. What you're doing to me is you, not only my family, everybody, what you're doing, you don't understand what you're doing here, man. What the no. is this? This is not customer service, I know that. At BWI, Todd's flight has left, and the police have calmed him down. I spent over two grand to take my son to Disney World. If I don't go, it's over. I lose my money. I work hard for my money, and I promised my son I don't want to let him down. If I don't make it, I'm, I'm mud. It's all over. The time frame and everything is so crucial. I and, I, and I'm sorry, sorry. This because is... they're non-refundable. I blow it. It's over. I know. And, and I've never had That's to me. do this ever, sir. It just, it never, it doesn't happen a lot. Okay. And I've been with the company three years, and I never physically had to deny somebody boarding yeah, from the history. You only do what you have to do. Gina has managed to get him a seat on the next flight in an hour's time. I'm sorry I yelled no, at you. I know. I, I didn't want to call the police. I hate That's calling cool. you guys. That's all right. But I'm mean, like, calm down, please. No disrespect. I'm from New York. I'm used to cops. All right. Gina compensates Todd the cost of his flight for the delay. If I was a passenger, I would have been uh, very upset, and I totally understand the way he was acting. He, he just wouldn't calm down. And I, I understand that they were upset. Totally, totally understand that, and I felt horrible. Supervisor James delivers some bad news to three San Diego passengers. They've missed the flight because their boarding call no, couldn't no be heard in the bar. They'll be there. The next one is 5.50, and after that, there's a 7.30. Your other friend? Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's, he's a mess. I know, you know, he, he may not get on the plane. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry? He may not get on the plane. What? That, if, cause he, if he's been drinking, they'll deny him boarding getting on the plane. Maybe he should stop now, then? Oh, if he's been drinking, I mean, seriously, you know, we're trying to get you guys there, but if he's been drinking, they probably will deny him boarding. But I've been informed by the uh, county that he's been drinking. He's standing there with a beer drinking, and he's giving them a little flack. So it's a decision where I don't know if I'm going to let him board or not. Are you being serious? I swear to God, go. They, got, they have uh, enough time, I think, to sober up if they, if they work at it diligently from this point and, you know, drink coffee. Sit down. I just let him know that he's not gonna be able to get on. Is he that bad? I don't know. I have, is he in the bar? Dave Box and his friends have been to see the rock band Trapped, and he's got a plan. Maybe if he's convincing enough, people will think that they're actually members of the band. It's our band, Trapped. Are you guys kidding me? You guys don't even know who we are. Well, that's not an issue. If he's intoxicated when he comes to the boarding door, I have to deny him boarding. How'd you know I was, I was the singer? We can go water, we can go coffee, anything we can do to get them in good condition to fly. Our new CD, a little bit different, a little bit different. We gotta go over there, over here, right here. Hey, Dave, how are you, Dave? Shut up. Let me start drinking water right now. Yeah, I'm some uh, operations supervisor. You said you can't. Here. Yeah. Um, my concern is you've had a little bit too much to drink right now to be getting on the airplanes. I'm, okay. not, I'm fine. Okay. And I just want to make sure I'm just yeah. a little. If we do have a smell of presence of alcohol and everything when you pour it, it may have to deny. That's so, perfect. Okay. Thank you. All right, I appreciate it, Dave. Could I finish this and Well, that's water? up to no, you. No, I, if, I, if I were you, I'd go right to water. The, the plane's delayed, so he has a little, another hour or so to sober up, possibly, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Dave's notion of what constitutes being drunk seems to differ from the boarding yeah, agents. Do I seem drunk? Do I seem drunk? Tell the truth. Did, was I exactly? I think I might have handed myself a little bit, little bit kind of naughty. I'm not drunk. Do I seem drunk? 
Tell the truth. Dave seems to have convinced himself, but can he convince the airline? Yeah, I, I'm actually completely sober. And I have, I have a shoe right now. If you're gonna, if you're gonna make me look bad in front of the camera. Okay, I'm not trying to make you look bad. That, I'm that just actually you know. is gonna up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call him that. Are you starting to threaten me? Not at all. Okay. Like, like, show something, like. I was just watching you, and I just kind of what I was observe, say, observation. I'm a scientist. Okay. That, that actually bothers me. I mean, you just you seem to be under the influence, though. So. How? I don't know. Just by your actions. Okay. Well. It's not looking so good with Dave. He's wasted. Just pickled beyond belief. Do you guys know where Millionaire Aviation is? He's going to try to contact his record label, Warner Brothers, to see if they'll contract a private jet for them out uh, to Los Angeles so they can perform at the Avalon tomorrow night. So they have a show in front of 20 or 30,000 people they got to perform. Where's, where's Millionaire Aviation? How do we get a cab here? You want to take a cab to Millionaire? Yeah. Is, it is he booked uh, right for you? Brett, hold on. Yeah. Where is it? No, it's over on. Uh, speak to him, my boy. Stay. What's up? We're, we can take. We're gonna, we're gonna take the train. I'm delirious right now. I can't. I can't be angry anymore. I'm not quite sure if there's actually anybody on the other end of the phone if he's trying to charter a jet, but I gave him the information anyway. The last minute charter a jet out of here is gonna run on fifty thousand dollars. Nobody's gonna. Are you serious? Without a spare $50,000 to his name and no other flights available, Dave and his friends will try to get home in the morning. Sucks. Thank you. I don't know what happened. He started chugging water and he got more obnoxious as he drank more water. That's the craziest thing. But, you know, hopefully they'll be okay in the morning. They'll get out. I hope they get out. Flights are pretty full, so. At Baltimore Washington International, Carol is helping a grandmother who has been taken off a flight to Raleigh. What happened was the ops agent had already boarded her. The first officer took the wheelchair down and observed that maybe she appeared under the influence of something. When he got her in her seat, she fell over. So I went down, I said, you know, how are you feeling today? And she was like, oh, okay, but her speech was slurred. I could smell alcohol. I said, well, are you on any kind of medication? She named a couple medications, and I said, well, have you had any alcohol? And she said, yeah, I've had alcohol, too. So I said, well, we're actually probably going to have you come off the plane and take a later flight. It looks like maybe you're under the influence of alcohol and we can't have you travel like that. At that point, she smacked me. You got to be an idiot. You know, don't, Ma don't please, say Please, please don't ma hit me again, no. okay? Well, at this point, you're not going to be able to fly on this aircraft. Why? Because it appears as if you're intoxicated. I can't do anything. I have three kids. I have four kids. Okay, well, kids. right, so what we're going to do is so get you hard. on this, right, but what we're going to do is get you on this next flight, and in order to travel on that one, yeah. um, we're going to have to, you know, make sure that you don't have anything else as far as alcohol. Yeah. They are stupid. You know what? I came in here going to my vacation very calmly. Secure. And I love Southwest. And all of a sudden, because I've had a few drinks, and I can't, well, I've got to show ID, I got to do this, I got to do that. You know what, guys? Go out and get the bad guys. Not me. You know what? You are. She definitely appears to be intoxicated. She now is very upset, because I guess it's sinking in that she's not getting on this flight. Believe me, I've had a few drinks. I can't say that. Mary, what? do you have your ID that I can see for a moment, please? Because I'm well, I don't we, want that. OK, and that's fine. We do want you to be able to get on this next flight, which leaves at 7.05. So that's why we'd like to get you some water or some coffee or something. Oh, Mary has a couple of drinks, and that's it. Idiots. Brenda right here would like to take you to get something, if you'd let her. Hi, Brenda. I asked Brenda just to intervene, just because it didn't seem like we were clicking at all. Sometimes it's best to bring somebody else in. And uh, Brenda seemed like she had that motherly way about her. She'd be able to click with her. So we're hoping we can get her some coffee and get her on the 705 flight. Things have become worse for Grandma Mary. Mary apparently took a fall over here, attempting to get out of her wheelchair. We just kind of sat over here with her coffee. I was keeping an eye on her. Um, and uh, when she went to get up, apparently, she fell. I don't know if her foot got caught, but she hit her nose. Her nose started bleeding. It looks like maybe she twisted her ankle. So 
we have paramedics coming. Despite her fall, Mary's determined to be back on her feet. Carol has tracked Mary down to the ladies' restroom. I'm going to compose myself, and then I'm going to get Mary, and we're going to go back down to the gate. I just needed a moment. I have uh, Mary, if you're looking for her, Brenda, I have her with me. Thank you. We thought Mary was missing in action. Oh, Carol. Well, let's watch the cane. I don't want you to hit anybody with it. Here, we're going to get you down to your chair. Mary still needs to sober up to board the next flight to Raleigh. Um, it's delayed about an hour which is probably good news because technically she would be leaving in 50 minutes and probably that hour is going to be good for her. She's definitely doing better than she was. And another hour, I think she'll be good. An hour later, Mary is cleared for travel and heads to Raleigh. Across the country at Los Angeles International Airport, passenger Steve Kristen should be on board a flight to Kansas City, but the bar is too tempting. I got drunk, pissed. <laughs> I missed my flight. Now I'm on standby. So, and they tell me there's there are 20 people overbooked. So probably I'll still be here till about God knows five six o'clock in the afternoon. Even though it's only 7:30 a.m., the bartender thinks he's had enough and has refused to serve him any longer. Cheers. Two. There we go. Salute. <laughs> Don't they sometimes stop people getting on if they're drunk? I think no, no, no. They can't, they can't do that, man. What do you think about it? They offer drinks on the damn plane. They did that. There would be no one flying. It's time for Steve Kristen to board his flight, but is he sober enough? Supervisor Steve Ramirez will make that call. Okay. When you spoke to the bartender, he said they had to stop serving you drinks. No, he didn't have you're... to stop. I left, and I, I paid him what I had to okay. pay. Okay. There's no, no problem at this point, but. I do want you to understand that if we do get you on this flight, they're not going to serve you drinks anymore. Okay, on no the problem, no problem, no problem. Is there a problem Just get me with on that? A, get me on a flight. I'm all right with that. <laughs> they probably tell me I'm too drunk to get on the train, <laughs> so I can sit down and relax for three hours. Oh boy, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, this is what's going to happen, Mr. Kristen. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to put you on this flight. If you appear to be under the influence. No, I'm not under. God. Man, listen to me. I just need to be on this flight. Okay. I'll be, I'll, this, look, well, this is what listen to the way I'm talking. I know my rights. It doesn't okay. matter how you get on the flight, as long as you don't have anything on you and you don't do anything wrong. Relax. Okay. Relax, please. Okay? What the f is it? I'm going to sleep on the plane for three hours. Call, yeah, call the... You're taking money out of my pocket, okay. and you don't get that. Sir, enough, okay? Enough. You don't understand. You don't come from the streets, man. I come from the streets. Oh, do you? Yeah. You want to make a bet? Walk outside with me. No, that's not. I'm not. I'm not going to debate whether you're from the streets or not. Come but on. Walk with me. Mr. Kristen. Take a walk with okay. me. And you know, you see where I I'm come gonna from. Have, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to have the police. They're going to come talk to you, OK? Well, I don't have no police PI. Look, let me get on the flight where all, everything's all forgot. Straight out. I I'll be nice. I won't say one damn word. And if you, if I do, you could you could you could lock me up. Every time Steve well, opens his mouth, he seems to make it worse. Now he could face arrest. Back in L.A., Supervisor Steve Ramirez is still trying to pacify the drunken passenger he denied boarding. Uh, what? They're gonna beat me up over there in the corner. No, somewhere? they're not gonna beat you up. They yeah. Yeah. And I know the fucking guy. I've been through that ringer enough times. Well, um, at this point, like I said, I don't feel like you're gonna, if you can't behave here on the counter. I am behaving. We're gonna have a gentleman here talk to you. Yeah. How you What's doing? What's up, man? How you doing? Fine, how are you? How are you doing? All right. You doing good? Yeah. So, is he gonna be able to get on the next flight? No. Tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow, so. Let's, no. let's get your... No, 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 no. This guy, this guy, this guy is, uh, okay. this guy is a little... He's a Sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's take your stuff. So, Miss Perfect. No. Yeah. And what? What? This is. Sorry, man. Because the guy doesn't have no right. Okay. This is just taking. Don't be able to use this. Bus chop. Okay. Well, he sees me on the streets. Come here, my neighborhood. Come. 
Steve's big mouth has gotten him kicked out of the airport. Next time he flies, he'll know not to start drinking at dawn.